Hello everyone, welcome to our podcast So we are from group 20 and we are here not without reason guys So we will talk about things that are I think very 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 familiar to Gen Z Alright, but before that let us introduce ourselves to you guys Hello everyone, my name is Cahya Septia Zerina with my student ID number 221091-222091 Hello, my name is Eli Aprilianti with student ID number 221091232013 Hello everyone, my name is Mina Sari and my student ID number is Two two one zero nine one two 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 zero 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 four. Hello, my name is Nural Pisa, with my student ID number two two one zero nine one two 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 zero zero three seven. Hello, everyone. My name is Yunes Yuenda. ID student number two two one zero nine one two seven two. Zero zero one. Okay, so guys, without any further ado, just let's move on to our topic. Okay, so do you guys know that mental health issue continues to be a topic of conversation lately? And it's not without reason, guys, that mental health is one of the critical sectors that stimulate people's health universally. Thus, unhealthy mental or likely to be called mental illness will affect a person's sick physical and psychological health. Mental health includes our emotional, psychological, and social well-being. It affects how we think, how we feel, and how we act. It also helps determine how we handle stress, relate to others, and make healthy choices. Mental health is essential at every stage of life, from childhood and teenagers through adulthood. Although the terms are often interchangeable, poor mental health and mental illness differ. A person can experience poor mental health and not be diagnosed with a mental illness. Likewise, um, a person diagnosed with a mental illness can experience periods of physical, mental, and social well-being. Teenagers are fu- vulnerable to being affected by mental disorders, which everybody is talking about it. According to the World Health Organization and Mental Health Literacy, there are far more common mental disorders and psychological problems among teenagers, such as panic attacks. Moreover, there are also behavioral development disorders, such as learning disorders. Next, there is an eating disorder that will later destroy the patient's eating pattern, whether it is dieting or overeating. Then, there is a psychosis that allows the fa- patient to hear or see unreal things, and there is suicide and self-harm. Both are fatal things that have reached the disorder's climax. Apart from those aforementioned mental disorders, it is undeniable that a person with a mental disorder will harm himself. Besides suicide attempts, there is smoking and becoming alcoholic, into drug and or even deficient sexual behavior. Many symptoms of mental health issues differ from person to person and among the different kin of issues. For intense panic attacks and rising tooth are common side effects. As a result of this mental strain, a person might experience chest urges and breathing difficulties. Another sign of poor mental health is a lack of focus. It occurs when teenagers have too much going on in their lives at once, and they begin to make the least mistakes, resulting in a loss of capacity to focus effectively. Another element is being on edge all the, of the time. It's noticeable when teenagers are quickly irritated by minor events or statesmen become overt and argue with their family and friends. It occurs as a result of a build of internal irritation. 
sense of alienation from their love once might negatively influence their mental health. It makes them feel lonely and might even put them in a state of despair. Teenagers can prevent mental illness by calming their minds by listening to soft music, being more social, setting realistic goals for themselves, and taking care of their bodies. Among the teenagers who experience the issues of mental disorders, students are one of them as group of teenagers who feel the same way or maybe even worse. A student may have more possibilities for various mental disorders attacking them. However, it is possible for non students in this case, youth to experience the same thing. According to the result of basic health research or risk case death in 2015, there were reports that as many as 25% of students experience mild NCT. 60% experience moderate NCT and 15% experience severe NCT. Based on the result of this study, it is proved that everyone can experience either mild, moderate, or severe NCT. In line with not a so dear Joe, 2007, social adaptation is one factor driving mental disorders. As most people know, social adaptation contains many aspects such as social interaction, social status, social culture, and environmental issues. Sudden, for example, will be required to adapt to a new environment and situation that is very, very different from the typical school situation. According to a survey of new students, complaints in tertiary institution that new students have difficulty adapting to a new environment on average. The difficulty of adapting to a new environment will later affect one's mentality. The difficulties in adapting will later relate to excessive NCT, feeling alone because you cannot socialize, having fear to start talking, even feeling difficult to make friends. Besides the social adaptation factor, the most factor experienced by student is the learning factor which becomes a pressure in itself, causing mental disorder. This factor encourage the loss of enthusiasm for learning or even a factor that reverses excessive ambition, causing prolonged stress. Most students experience struggle in handling their duties, be it formal lecture, a segment or even a segment outside of lecture, such as uh, organizational, a segment, communities, and internship. The excessive and sometimes delayed number of a segment and approaching deadlines have made student confused in handling team. But behind mental disorder that young people experience, especially student, it is important to maintain good mental health for themselves or other, especially if they are student. Much prevention behavior may important to reduce stress and prevent bad things, such as reducing exhausting activities and mental and psychiatric counseling.
providing self-healing or healing and doing things that can be cheering up themselves. On top of that, all these efforts are done for positive change for mental health. According to WHO, 10 October is observed as World Mental Health to make people more aware of mental health. The object of this day is to spread awareness about mental health issues around the world and make all effort in support of mental health. The meat is one of the most powerful organs in the body, regulating the forting of all other ores. When our meat are unstable, they are the world for sensation of our bodies being physically and emotionally fit is the key to success all section of life purple should be our of the concentration of mental english hand must give a much information to keeping the meat healthy like how the physically body is kept healthy Mental and physical health cannot be spared for it or me for fact. Holy wind, both heart black chain, can we call oppression precisely? And will so everyone nematch black chain, their mental and physical will aim and get the recessionally health when after of the filters okay guys we hope that based on the information we convey about mental health we can add to the knowledge of our podcast listeners and we hope that in the future we can more care and be aware of mental health also you guys have to know that your life is very followable no matter what no matter how hard your problem is no matter how hard your life is please never give up guys because i trust you and also you have to believe in yourself there will definitely be a way out because you are not alone we are here for you okay guys i think that's all from our group see you and have a good time everyone Bye bye